Becca here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting because I'm going to be sharing with you my three top favorite winter handbags and how I style them. You guys have been requesting a video like this from me for a while. The three bags that I'm going to be styling today are my Givenchy and Sagona in the small size, my Chanel Jumbo in the iridescent leather, and of course my newest obsession, my Kelly 28 in Rose Confetti Cellier. Before we get started, this video is partially sponsored by Ana Luisa Jewelry. If you guys watch my videos, you might know that I have worked with Ana Luisa before. I absolutely love, love, love their jewelry. And all of the pieces that I'm going to show you guys today go so, so, so well with all of the winter outfits I have planned. So they sent a couple of pieces for me to talk about and I will show you them now. I'm going to start out with my most favorite piece that they sent me. These earrings are seriously stunning, guys. These earrings are called their love earrings, and seriously, I've never had anything like this before. I think that they are so, so cute. They are plated in 14K gold, and they are hypoallergenic. So if you have sensitive ears, which mine tend to be sometimes, these earrings are extremely comfortable to wear all day. So this one in particular comes in like three parts. So you have the little pearl, and then there is the little love that's dangling, and then of course there is a little backing. So what you actually do if you do get these earrings is take the little pearl out and put it in first and then slip this like love part onto the very back. And voila, this is what it looks like. Oh my god, I'm so in love with these. I've never had a pair of earrings like this before and it is so, so cute. I love how it kind of gives you like the multiple earring look, but it's just like one piece. Oh my gosh, I'm so, so in love with this one. The next piece that they sent me is also another set of earrings. These right here are called the Nuria earrings. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that, but you guys know if you watch my videos that I always wear earrings like this and the other pair that I have that's really similar to this is also from Ana Luisa Jewelry so personally speaking I wear those every day so I'm really glad to have another pair that I can kind of swap those out with. This style of earring is literally my number one favorite. I just love like the pearl dangly style and these ones again are also plated in 14k and the pearl is a freshwater pearl and the best part is these earrings are only $59. How crazy is that? Super super affordable for such amazing quality. One of my favorite things about Ana Luisa is actually how sustainable they are. They offset 100% of their carbon emissions from the way that they source their materials up until the way that they actually dispose their pieces. I have been making a conscious effort this year to, you know, really go more sustainable in the clothing and the accessories that I wear. So that's why I truly love partnering with Ana Luisa. And then the last piece that they sent me is actually a necklace. This necklace is also plated in 14K gold and just like the earrings, it is hypoallergenic as well. Ah! How cute is this? I love the little heart and I love the chain so much. You guys know that this is like totally my aesthetic. And once again, this necklace is so, so affordable. It's actually only $59 as well. And for something that's this high quality, plated in 14K gold, at the price point it is, you seriously can't get any better and I'm just so in love with all of the pieces that I have. Seriously guys, I would not be recommending Ana Luisa Jewelry if I didn't 100% love their products and you guys will know firsthand from watching my videos that I wear those other earrings that I have from them almost in every single video. If you do want to check them out, I do have a link in the description below and they are currently having a Black Friday sale. So yes, another excuse to go shopping and pick yourself up something. Or if you want to get an early jump on Christmas or the holiday season, this is a great time for you guys to, you know, get ahead of the holiday season and buy something for a loved one as well. They've got so many great pieces no matter what your style is and the best part is is that everything is so affordable. Prices start at $39 and they have everything from um, rings, earrings, necklaces, bracelets, you name it. So no matter what you're looking for, I'm sure you can find the right piece for you. I will leave all of the information down in the description box below. And thank you so much again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. All right, so moving on with the video, the first bag that I'm going to show you how to style is my Givenchy and Sagona. If you guys watched my one bag per season video, you'll know that this is one of my absolute favorite bags to wear during the winter. During the winter time, I need to carry a lot of stuff, hence why all of the bags I'm showing you guys today are actually like the largest bags in my collection minus my tote bags. This Givenchy Anzagona seriously goes with everything and I will show you my two favorite outfits to wear in the winter with it. The first one being this ensemble right here. This is practically like my winter uniform. Everything that I wear is basically a version of this kind of outfit. Here I have a pink sweater from H&M and then I also have this beautiful plaid skirt from YesStyle and as you can see my Givenchy Anzagona goes so so well with it. I just 
can't get enough of outfits like this. And on my feet, I'm wearing my Stuart Weitzman brown over the knee boots. This kind of outfit is seriously one of my go-tos. I don't have to think about it too hard. I can just throw on a sweater and a skirt and pull on some boots. And honestly, it looks great every single time. I always get compliments on outfits like this and it cannot be more simple to throw on. And like I said, it takes minimal effort for you to look super chic, but also be really comfy at the same time. All right, this next outfit is probably going to be the most casual one out of all of the ones that I'm showing you guys. You guys know that I'm usually like a skirts and dress kind of person, but today I'm showing you an outfit with jeans because some days there are just those days in the winter where you're just like, I just wanna be really comfy and cozy without having to, you know, worry about being cold or anything. So I've put together this outfit with a pair of jeans for you guys just to show you how I can do comfortable and cozy too. So I'm wearing these jeans that I got from H&M along with this sweater that I recently got from H&M as well. Now I know a lot of people are going to point out that I did say I want to be more sustainable this year and I am fully aware that H&M is a fast fashion company. However, I do really like H&M's quality. I think that a lot of their products, if you pick them out right, you can actually wear them for many, many years. Case in point, I've had these jeans that I've been wearing from H&M them literally I think for four to five years and I only have two to three pairs of jeans in my collection so although I don't wear them very often the fact that this one has lasted me this long I think is a testament to how you know pretty decent their quality is I believe that if you do buy you know affordable fast fashion the one thing that you can do to make it a little bit more sustainable is to keep your pieces a long time and not you know change them out very often and that is truly truly what I do so yeah that's why I truly believe that if you are still shopping at places like H&M, Yes Style, those kind of places that are fast fashion, as long as you keep the pieces for a really long time and don't, you know, cycle through them and buy too many pieces, I think you could still contribute to, you know, the sustainable fashion movement. Now, to top the outfit off, I do have my Burberry scarf. This is one of the best investments I've ever, ever made. This one is in, like, the um, rose color with the black stripes, and I am pairing it with my black Stuart Weitzman boots and, of course, my Givenchy Antigona, which is the highlight of this outfit. I love outfits like this because like I said it's super casual and comfy and so easy to throw on and I just think that you know you look really really good without having to try hard which is kind of the theme for this whole video. I don't know about you guys but I just feel a little bit lazier when it comes to winter time because it takes a little bit more effort to you know roll out of bed in the morning when it is a little bit colder outside so that is why I definitely prefer to have these set outfits that are very cozy and then I know that you know, I can wear without having to really think about them. One thing that I love about the Givenchy and Sagoda for winter is that you can chuck everything that you need to inside. Sometimes I'll put like, you know, an extra cardigan, extra scarf, my gloves in there, um, earmuffs if I need them, just a whole full winter outfit. So that is why, like I said before, the Givenchy and Sagoda is definitely one of my go-to winter bags. All right, the next outfit that I have to share with you guys is actually going to be with my Chanel Jumbo. I got this tweed dress from Nordstrom Rack. Now, you will have definitely seen this one in a haul video that I did a couple of months ago and I was saying in that video how I love this one because it is short sleeve so I could wear it during the fall but I can also wear it during the winter with an outer piece like this leather jacket. It is still kind of that weather where it's like semi-hot during the daytime but then like freezing cold at night so I like to have something in between like this. Of course if it was colder outside I could easily swap this leather jacket for like you know a nice wool coat or something but I love any chance that I can get to wear my Michael Kors pink lambskin leather jacket. So like I said, I am sporting my Chanel Jumbo in the iridescent letter with this one. I tend to wear my Jumbo during the winter the most. I just find that it's a little bit too big and a little bit too bulky to wear during like the spring and summer. Although if I do need to carry a lot, you know, during the spring and summer, I do tend to gravitate towards this bag as well. However, I just find that it just looks so much better when I have like a jacket on or something. I think it's because I am a little bit more petite. So it just looks a little bit more proportional, I guess, if I am wearing something bulkier and then of course on the bottom I do have my Steve Madden mock croc boots on I have been living in white boots I think that is just so so cute for you know fall and winter and I just love the way that it looks with pretty much any outfit I know it was my thing last year as well so it might be a little bit redundant to see you know white boots again this year but I don't know I just can't get enough of them so 
sorry. <laughs> All right, the next outfit that I have to share with you paired with my Chanel Jumbo is this one. This features a off-the-shoulder top that I got from the Nordstrom sale, um, you know, not too long ago. I absolutely love these kinds of tops for winter. I think it's so cool how you can wear them off the shoulder and it makes it look really elegant. But if you do get a little bit colder, you can push it up and wear it as like a cowl neck kind of thing instead of an off-the-shoulder. So two ways to wear this one. It's very, very versatile and so worth the investment if you are looking for sweaters this year. I'm pairing this one with my hands tooth skirt that I got last year. Unfortunately, it is sold out at the place that I bought it from, so I will leave a couple links down below for ones that are similar. Once again, I've also paired this outfit with my Stuart White Spin Black over the knee boots. Honestly, guys, the black boots are one of my best investments, especially in terms of footwear. I can wear these boots all the time, every day. They are the Thailands. I don't think I mentioned that earlier, which is a permanent collection item in Stuart White Spin, so they are still selling it. A lot of people don't think that you can pull off pink handbags during the winter, but I beg to differ. You know, even if you are wearing an all black outfit or an all neutral outfit like this one, the pink handbag just looks really, really great. Of course, as it's winter, you'll probably want to throw on a coat as well. This coat I got from Talbot last year. It is unfortunately sold out, but this style of coat is very, very classic, so I will try to link a couple of different ones that are very similar to this one down below. All right, and last but not least, we are going to be styling my new Kelly bag. Now, you guys know I have not had a chance to put this bag down since I got it. I mean, I spent an incredible amount of money on it, so I feel like it's fair to be wearing it every day and really getting my cost per wear down. So, the first outfit that I have to show you with my Kelly is this one right here. Here I have my Ted Baker sweater. I absolutely love this sweater. The pink is just to die for, and I love how it has this added extra collar. I think that it also goes really well with my necklace. I am pairing it with my Veronica Beard slacks. Now, normally I wouldn't wear slacks during the winter, but I figured that not everybody lives in a super cold climate. I actually have a lot of friends who live in places like California where there isn't really much of a winter at all So I thought this kind of outfit would be you know a good medium in between for those of you who do live in colder climate weathers And those of you who don't I've paired this whole look with my Gucci loafers It doesn't snow here every day in the winter like a lot of people believe in Colorado We do have our very very warm days during the winter as well and the days that there isn't snow on the ground So this is definitely one of those outfits that I would wear on one of those days and if it does happen to be cold I can just throw on a jacket like this one. This coat I got from Kate Spade. I absolutely love it. It is new, but I did get it in a Kate Spade surprise sale. It is, I think, a wool blend, so it does look a little bit light, but trust me, it is very, very warm, especially if you pair it with a sweater as well. So yeah, that is definitely why I love outfits like this during the winter. And of course, I think my Kelly bag goes great with it. I mean, the Kelly bag goes great with everything. I could definitely pair it with every single outfit that I've shown you in this video, but but yeah, I don't know why. I do just really love pairing this Kelly with outfits like this, especially during the winter time. All right, and for my last outfit, I have this one right here. Now I'm wearing a, another just really cozy, comfy, casual sweater, but I've paired it with this long skirt. I think that this is actually a really cute outfit if you are going to like a party or something, which now that I think about it, is probably not happening during 2020, but Maybe if you're having a party at home on Zoom by yourself or something. Now, I really like wearing skirts during the winter, but this is actually a first for me to have like such a really long pencil kind of style skirt. I normally think that pencil skirts or skirts like this that are very tight and form-fitting look a little bit too, I don't know, office-y, I guess, in my opinion. I mean, you could wear something like this to the office as well, but paired with a really cute, fun pair of heels, like the ones that I'm wearing in this one. These are my Ted Baker heels. You can definitely swap out a pair of boots like ankle boots to go along with this outfit as well if you are a little bit cold and if you don't want to you know dress so fancy. I normally wear my Kelly with these sangles down but I think that it looks also really great with these sangles up and locked in and I don't know there's just something really cool and sophisticated and cute about this outfit and I think that the Kelly goes really well with skirts and pants so I definitely wanted to share you know two kinds of looks with you guys. So yeah that was it for my video I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section down below which look 
look was your favorite. I did also want to mention to you guys that my giveaway is still going on. For this round of the giveaway, I am giving away a Too Faced makeup palette. This is it right here. I will mention it in every single video so that you guys don't forget. The giveaway is going to be going on all month long, and I will choose a winner at the end of the month. It's super easy to join. Like I said, I am going to be doing a ton more giveaways just to kind of give back to the community in, you know, a small way that I can. All you have to do to be entered into the giveaway is leave a comment down below with this emoji in it. Any comment featuring this emoji will be entered for the giveaway. It's super, super simple. And of course, you do have to be following my YouTube channel and my Instagram. It's really that simple. And the more that you comment on my videos with this emoji, the more times you will be entered. And you can enter in as many videos as you want when you see this makeup palette. Please, please, please don't forget to check out Ana Luisa by clicking the link down below. I will also leave the names of all of the pieces that I showed you so that if you are looking for these specific items, you can find them on their website as well. They are also having a Black Friday sale, like I mentioned. So yeah, a great opportunity to pick up something for yourself or for someone else for the holiday season. If you did like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do upload videos every single week. And yeah, with that, thank you so, so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy out there, and I will see you next time. Bye!